we start, a lot of viewers have been asking, where do I get a cheap copy of Windows? I use the unactivated version, which is completely free, but most people hate the little watermark you get in the corner of your screen. So I reached out to a company called SCD Key and they were able to hook us up with a discount code. So head over to scdkey.com, go to the search bar and type in Windows 10. Then select the Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key. Click on the icon and once it takes you to the product page, you're gonna click buy now. Once you're at checkout, just type in KY1, click apply, and you'll receive 10% off of your purchase. Side note, this code also works for other non-gaming software products on the website. So if you wanna buy one of those, go ahead. And just to give you guys a little proof, I actually use this code to activate Windows on my personal rig, where I've been running Windows 10 unactivated for two years now. And as you can see, the code works and the watermark in the bottom right corner disappears. And finally, you can even get games and gift cards at a discounted price too. So if you haven't bought Monster Hunter yet, save yourself $15 and buy your key here with the code KY2. Okay, so straight up, this is the most powerful computer I have shown on this channel so far. So trust me when I say you don't want to miss the benchmarks because this thing is a beast. I was scrolling through OfferUp and I noticed that someone was trying to sell their entire setup. Now, if you ever see people trying to sell their monitors, mouse, keyboard, desk, and their computer, this is a really great sign for buyers. These people are typically looking to get cash fast and if you can pick up the item that same day, they will almost always take a lower cash offer. So I found this guy trying to do exactly that and I offered him $350 for the tower and luckily, he accepted. So without further ado, let's check out what's inside this thing. So for the CPU, this computer has an i7-4770K, which is actually the exact same processor that Ali from the $2,000 gaming computer scam was trying to tell me was worth $420. And now I have an entire rig built around this thing for $350. Yeah, in your face, quad. This is a quad core CPU clocked at 3.5 gigahertz with a turbo boost of up to 3.9 gigahertz. And it can be overclocked to even higher. This thing is a beast, not only for gaming, but especially for editing. We'll be able to see how well this thing does on the Cinebench R15 CPU benchmark later in the video. Now the cooler is an Enermax ETS N31. It's your standard heatsink fan combination, so it's nothing special, but it is definitely better than an Intel stock cooler. As for the motherboard, it's an Asus ROG Maximus 6 Formula Z87. Holy crap, that's a mouthful. Obviously a Z model motherboard is only right for an overclockable CPU, but this thing also looks sick. This is the first time I've ever seen black casing cover a majority of the board with some pretty edgy designs. As for the RAM, this system has eight gigabytes of DDR3 memory by G-Scale clocked at 1600 megahertz. I've said it before and I'll say it again, eight gigabytes is the perfect sweet spot for gaming. And the only time you ever need any more than eight gigabytes is if you're into content creation. Now the graphics card is an EVGA 1050 Ti, which is actually the best card budget wise to be looking for on the used market right now. However, this one is a a little bit better than the ones you'll be finding on the used market right now for a reasonable price because this is the SSC model. Not only is it much better looking, it has dual fans which significantly help with overclocking as well as cooling. And to top it off, this 1050 Ti actually comes with higher clock speeds, making this one of the best 1050 Ti's that you can get. As for the power supply, this thing is rocking the Roswell RBR 1000M, which is an 80 plus bronze rated 1000 watt power supply. This is Definitely overkill for a system like this. Something to note though is that this is a semi-modular power supply and the previous owner didn't actually have any of the cables that came with it. So while it does have that black mesh covering up the ugly ketchup and mustard cables, it still comes with all of the cables I would need if I wanted to upgrade to say a GPU that would actually need a power cable. Now as for the drives, this is where this thing gets super interesting. This thing has an SSD by PNY for the boot drive as well as three HDDs. I actually actually have no idea what the size of the SSD is as well as any of the sizes for these three hard disk drives. After taking a closer look at the motherboard, I could tell that only two of the three HDDs were actually connected, so I'm just going to leave the mystery HDD in there and not power it on because honestly, 
I don't need that much space and I can't think of anyone who'd actually need three hard disk drives running. That's just a waste of power. And finally, the case holding all of this together is a Thermaltake View View 31. This thing is massive. It has four 140 millimeter fans in the front, back, bottom, and top. Two of the four are actually RGB fans and light up the system quite nicely. It even has tempered glass on both side panels. So if you're sloppy with your cable management, this is not the case for you. And to make this thing even cooler, the previous owner actually installed RGB LED remote controlled light strips. Honestly, this changed my opinion on the light strips because I used to think that they kind of gave a cheap gaming computer look. But after seeing the way this thing looks with the side panel on, I must admit that being able to see your entire system really well lit from the outside actually makes your whole build look that much better. Now, if we add up the used value of each component that makes up this system, this entire thing is worth approximately $550. That means that I saved roughly 37% of my money by buying this thing whole rather than trying to buy each of these parts individually. So now that we've seen the inside of this thing, let's get to the benchmarks.
that one goes without saying. This PC is clearly the biggest deal I've shown on this channel and I loved showcasing it. To be honest, if I knew everything I knew now about computers before I built my main rig, I would have bought something like this because this computer is phenomenal and especially at $350. I'm a little sad to say it, but I'll definitely be selling this PC to continue to help fund this channel. But before I go, I wanted to ask you guys if you'd like to see me buy more expensive computers or parts to showcase on this channel. Channel. I ask that because I know a lot of you are interested in the budget aspect side of building, but there are a lot of ridiculous deals on more expensive hardware that I've passed up simply because I don't know if you guys are interested in that sort of thing. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that or any other kind of video for that matter. Anyways, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I know there's been a lot of new subscribers to the channel and a lot of views lately, and I just want to say, really, I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this stuff. and. As always, have a great day.